لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساء محنتها وكم كرهت مصابها I'm just gonna pay three. He mentions لما مات المأمون رد أحمد إلى البغداد. That he mentions that when Mahmoud died, um, they returned Ahmed to Baghdad. Then he mentions that they imprisoned him, uh, obviously during the time of Al Mu'tasim. And then he mentions that Ahmed ibn Abi Dawood, uh, al Qada al Qada. That this individual Ahmed ibn Abi Dawood, he was the leader of the judges, um, and he basically tested the people with the halq of the Quran, meaning the Quran being created. And then he mentions that Abu Bakr al Maruthi, uh, when Imam Ahmed was imprisoned. Uh, the prison guard came to him and said uh, to him, Ya Aba Abdullah, Al Hadith Ladi Ruya Fil Zalamati. He said that I asked him about the hadith about you know those who aid the oppressors, are they authentic? And this hadith is in relation to there will come a time that فَمَنْ دَخَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ فَصَدَّقَهُمْ بِكِذْبِهِمْ وَعَانَهُمْ عَلَى ظُلْمِهِمْ Whoever aids them, whoever believes in their lies uh, and trusts them and aids them with their oppression he, فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي وَلَسْتُ مِنْهُ I am not from him and he is not from me. Anyway, and it continues on. So then Imam Ahmed said, نَعْم, yes. And then the prisoner said, فَأَنَا مِنْ أَعْوَانِ ظَلَمَ Am I one of the aiders of the oppressors? And Imam Ahmed said that the aider of the oppressors are those who cut your hair and those who wash your clothes. And who rectify your food and buy and sell from you. As for you, you are the oppressor themselves. Right? You are the oppressor. So, or as for you, you are from the oppressor, shall I say. So, coming back to me now. Okay. So, let's just get that out there. Aiding the oppressor isn't just by giving him artillery or intelligence, etc. You are aiding in other ways. Now, imagine coming to Syria. Knowing what you know, okay, you knew, okay, don't act like you didn't. And then say, you know what, oh, I didn't know and you know, it was good for my family. So I had to say, you have aided Bashar al-Assad. Might be a minute form of aiding, but you have aided him. You are uh, presenting and many, as you've seen recently in, in China, many of these ulama went there and you know, it, it's, it's, it's giving them a form of legitimacy. You know, and this is, and this cannot be accepted. Anyway, let's continue on. As you can see on screen, we've got the book, Bayt Khalati, The Heights of My Auntie, okay? And this is written by Ahmed Khairi Al-Umri, okay? So just to summarize, it mentions that the soldiers of Bashar al-Assad, because they didn't know, did they? They didn't know, but anyway. That they, astaghfirullah azim, raped a girl in the ninth grade, okay? In front of me, six soldiers, stuck for what took in turns, and basically I don't want to read on, and they were basically continuing what they were doing. This is what the regime were doing. Let's let's continue on. As you can see on screen, we've got an Amnesty International report called the War of Annihilation: Devastating Toll on Civilians, Raqqa, Syria, and here's the executive summary. Okay, here's the executive summary. The Saydania prison, okay, if anyone knows about the Saydania prison, they say that Saydania is the end of life, the end of humanity. This is how much, you know, oppression, torture was going on there. It was a military prison where the Syrian state quietly slaughtered his own people and it continued on. Those who opposed the government, um, you know, were just ordinary civilians. And since 2011, thousands of people have been m killed in mass hangings, etc. You can read it, I'll leave it on for a bit. Amnesty International obviously was doing this research, etc. Absolutely, you know, barbaric. So coming back to me now. So this regime has been complicit in all sorts of massacres, all sorts of atrocities. And Hoop Finesse uh, was supporting his brother up until he got called out. Then he backtracked that he didn't know anything, nor, nor, nor did his brother. And then all of a sudden he knew and he was raising campaigns and he's there now in January just throwing a few food packs now thinking that it's, you know, we, we forgot about the, you know, inconsistencies and this day I say his arrogance and as well as his brother. We're not going to forget about this, mate. We're not going to forget about this. And this is why I recorded this video now because I know you're there now.
ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب الأحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد لي يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 